Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a tortoise cake. Now this cake is a little different than the cakes that I've been making for you all over the past few months, because this cake isn't just of an object, but a living, breathing animal. Now replicating something that is living is a completely different beast. It is definitely more difficult to pull off. The cake is stacked, so now I'm going to carve it into the shape of a tortoise shell. And then I'll cover the entire cake in a layer of green buttercream. Now a lot of you ask what I do with the cakes after they're made. So sometimes I eat them, sometimes my friends eat them, sometimes my family eats them. I've never had an issue finding somebody to eat them. <laughs> But this cake is actually a birthday cake for my bud, Jack, who is turning four years old. So happy birthday, Jack. Now help me wish him a happy birthday by giving him some B-Day wishes in the comments. Now this cake is spiced cake made with applesauce because Jack loves applesauce. <laughs> and I ate the cake scraps. It is delicious, you guys. Really, the only word for it is... <sighs> Now I'll roll out some ivory modeling chocolate and I'll use it to cover the entire cake. I'm giving myself one day to make this tortoise cake, which is not a lot of time. I'm really pushing it here. And hopefully I can trick a few people into thinking it's the real thing. And hopefully I don't give them nightmares. Or maybe I do want them to have nightmares. <laughs> I mean, if it's so realistic that it causes nightmares, I'm okay with that. I am known as the cake witch after all. The chocolate blanket that I just covered my cake in is the final layer in which I will sculpt all my tortoise details, which is what I'm doing right now. A tortoise is a type of turtle that lives exclusively on land, so no water for these big guys. So that means that all tortoises are turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises. Kinda like how all my cakes are objects, but not all objects are my cakes. <laughs> you probably already know that tortoises live super duper, really, really long lives. To the point where I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> the oldest tortoise that is alive right now, hanging out, is 189 years old. That means that he was born in 1832. And that means that the tortoise was already a teenager by the time the first bicycle was invented. And now he's so old, he's probably sitting around somewhere still watching cable television. <laughs> Speaking of cable television, I used to have my own show on Food Network called Texas Cake House. It's actually streaming right now on Discovery Plus if you're interested in checking it out. A tortoise shell has a ton of organic thin lines that radiate out from each segment, similar to a she shell. The seashell. Sea sea <laughs> While searching for the perfect seashell at the craft store, I came across this. This fantastic sculpting tool from my past. This is a feather wire texture tool, and it was specifically made for sculpting tortoise shells. Okay, that part's not true. <laughs> but just look at that. Doesn't it seem like it was? This is way easier than making a she shell. I could play with this tool all day. It's my favorite part about this cake. Now, if you like these tips and you like these videos, then subscribe to this channel right now because I post a new cake every week. And share it with your friends. I'd really love to reach half a million subscribers by the end of the year.
And now it's time to paint. This is a really, really fun cake to paint because it has so much texture. I always say that super textured cakes kind of paint themselves. And that's because the color seeps into all those little cracks and those details. It's like, pow, bam, zip. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> the color makes the sculpted details pop. That's what I'm trying to say. The shell is looking marvelous, so now I'll paint the tortoise's legs and face with the same color scheme. Did you notice I'm wearing a turtleneck? And I'm wearing tortoise shell glasses? And I'm also buried in a turtle-shaped sandbox? You know that I'm dedicated to this cake theme because it's summertime in Texas, USA, and I'm warm. <laughs> this sandbox is a lot deeper than it looks. And there you have it, a tortoise cake. Let me know what you guys think. Does it look like a real tortoise? If anything, it makes me want to get a pet tortoise. Although I'd have to figure out who would take care of him for the next 150 years once I'm gone. Now let's cut the cake. Now don't forget, this isn't actually a real animal. It is just a novelty cake for kicks and giggles. I think that sometimes people forget that. If you like this video, give this video a like and head over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com where you can get some Sidesurf Cake Studio merch, like this shirt that I am wearing right now. <laughs>